Hello there! This is a guide on how to defeat the expert Moonlord. This fight takes some preparation in the form of building a long asphalt bridge. I've used two stacks, which is just under 2,000 blocks for this bridge, but feel free to make it shorter or longer depending on how confident you are. Asphalt greatly increases the speed of the player when in contact, and is even more effective than boots, leaving you with a free accessory slot. Just remember that you'll move more slowly while in the air. The asphalt bridge idea was inspired by the video game badges speedrun. As this is the final boss, I'll be recommending the Bullet Alternative Shroom My Armor, which is the best ranger set pre-Moonlord. You won't need any particularly fancy accessories though. I'm using the Frozen Turtle Shell and Cross Necklace for survivability, the Leaf Wings and Obsidian Shield for maneuverability, and finally the Ranger Emblem and Philosopher's Stone for damage and healing. Of course, you can upgrade the Cross Necklace to the Star Veil, the Obsidian Shield to the Ankh Shield, the Philosopher's Stone to the Charm of Myths, and switch out the Leaf Wings for Fishrun Wings, however it's not necessary. The absolute best weapon for the strategy is the Vortex Beater, which you can craft after defeating the Vortex Pillar. I've reforged it to Sighted, which boosts damage and crit chance, however if you have the money, reforge it to Unreal. All of the accessories have been reforged to Lucky in order to boost the already high crit chance of the Vortex Beater. If you have doubts about your dodging ability, reforge to Warding, as defense is even more effective in expert mode. I haven't cut any corners when it comes to buffs. The potions I'm using are the Regeneration Potion, the Swiftness Potion, the Iron Skin Potion, the Thorns Potion, the Bull of Soup, the Life Force Potion, the Endurance Potion, the Rage Potion, and the Wrath Potion. That's a lot of potions. You'll need Chlorophyte Bullets for this fight, because not only is the Vortex Beater very inaccurate, but you'll also be shooting the Moonlord when it's off-screen for a significant portion of the battle. Note that I've placed down Campfires and Heart Lanterns along the bridge for passive healing. You can be a lot more economical with your Heart Lanterns than I have been, by placing them further apart, and you'll still get the same effect. Finally then, onto the fight. After you summon the Moonlord, or defeat the last pillar, you'll be given one minute to prepare. This is to give you some time after defeating the last pillar to recover. This can be a pain if you're spawning him with the Celestial Sigil. Once the Moonlord appears, begin running in one direction. You'll initially have his middle eye open, and so you want to take the opportunity to deal some damage to it. During the first stage of the fight, the center eye is your main target. This is because it opens briefly compared to the eyes in the hands, which are generally harmless until you force them out of their sockets. You'll likely bring the eyes on the hands down very low before destroying the center eye. If you do, refrain from destroying them until you can destroy all three eyes at the same time. If you release any eyes before defeating the middle eye, the fight will get considerably more difficult. To deal damage to the hands, either jump periodically, or stop to prevent your character from moving too far from the Moonlord, which would cause him to teleport. While you do this, simply shoot in the direction of the Moonlord, and the chlorophyte bullets will do the rest for you. Once a hand gets low, fly over the Moonlord and start running in the opposite direction to deal damage to the other hand. If you suspect that the center eye is about to open, run far enough away to cause the Moonlord to teleport. If you see the health bar of the center eye, start flying to the closest side of the head until it starts firing its laser. Once it does, fly over to the opposite side to avoid the damage. This laser deals a devastating amount of damage, and so you'll want to avoid it at all costs. During this fight, I actually used the floating islands to dodge a couple of the Moonlord's laser attacks. However, having the bridge so high up meant that I had to fight a few Wyverns as well. The darkness that the Moonlord brings appears to put out the campfires, however this is not the case and you'll still get the full effects of their healing. Finally, once you've taken out all three eyes, the Moonlord's chest will become vulnerable. However, it will be positioned below the asphalt platform. To bring it up, you'll need to fly upwards periodically. If your health gets low, you can run at full speed dodging many of the Moonlord's attacks and causing him to teleport. When he does, his heart will be above the platform momentarily, giving you the opportunity to deal some damage. This should buy you enough time to use another health potion, however at full cooldown, using this strategy may not be wise, as the ratio of damage you deal to the damage you take will not be as good. Remember to reapply your buffs during this fight, because they may not last as long as your battle. And there you have it. That's how you defeat the Moonlord. I hope you found this video useful.